blessings this afternoon some of the stories that we have here 45 year old pastor killed as in butchered by his 17 year old son also coming up four shot one fatally in waterhouse st andrew this morning so that's and more but most importantly remember that if you're new to the channel and it is your first time over here please i'm asking you to subscribe plus click the notification bell and while doing so select option all so that way there. so that way you'll be first in line to be notified about each and every activity on our channel on this channel and also remember to give this video a like like always for youtube algorithm blessings and more beatitude intro soon forward The teenage son of slain Westmoreland pastor Garnet Foster has been convicted for the gruesome killing. The 17 year old's name is being withheld because he is still considered a minor. He pleaded guilty to murder in the Westmoreland Circuit Court today and that has been confirmed by the DPP, the Office of the Director of Public Prosecutions. He is scheduled to be sentenced on August 4. 45 year old Mr. Foster who was the pastor of the Church of God of the Mountain Assembly was killed in his sleep at the family's home in Petersfield on July 23 of last year. According to the police reports, the teen told his uncle and grandmother who lived next door that he had discovered his father's body laying with his ink running with a knife sticking out of his neck. The relatives immediately rushed over and entered Foster's room. They reported that he was covered in his own ink with stab wounds to his upper body. The well-known clergyman was rushed to the Savannah Lamar Hospital where he died while undergoing treatment. Now over to the JCF, the Jamaica Constabulary Force, and we have now come to the realization that not only Noel Ahmad, the entire force of malfunction, the whole of them are taking it to heart. Give a police a piece of paper right now and see if a crab to you get back to how him nervous. Look at your display right now. The caption says, this missing person is 14 years of age, while the photo is saying something totally different. Let's just say she's 14. 14 year old Shelly Ann Henderson of Gough Terrace, Kingston 11 has been missing since Saturday, July 23. If you know where Shelly Ann is, please call Hunts Bay Police at 876-923-7111. And that was error number one. Now to error number two. Pay close attention, the JCF is doing these things on purpose to try and distract us from the campaign for Donnelly. This caption is saying the male is 32 while the photo is saying he's an old teenager looking very rough in his facial expression. Let's work with the caption. 32 year old Gary Myers, otherwise called Speedy Bike. Do not crash him crash man, that's why you can't find him. He's over a gully. Look over a gully people. He is of Fairfield Road in Spanish Town St. Catherine and he has been missing since Saturday, July 23. I'm not even sure if the dates are correct, but you can't confuse me. Anyone with information as to the whereabouts of Myers is asked to contact the Spanish Town Police at 876-984-2305. Now over to the county of Surrey with error number 3. Be attentive. Four persons were shot, one fatally, in a drive-by shooting in Unity Lane in Waterhouse, St. Andrew this morning. The deceased has been identified as windshield wiper Alton Haffiden. People may never say Haffiden, you know, Haffiden. The injured persons are being treated at hospital. The incident happened about 9 a.m. and the commanding officer for the St. Andrew South, Senior Superintendent Kirk Ricketts, says the police believe that the shooting was a reprisal for Saturday's stabbing death of Andre Douglas at a football match in the area. In a previous release, a previous version of this story incorrectly stated that a child was shot and killed in the incident and this information was provided to the media 
by the police personnel at the scene. Error number three, or you feel on the scene, and you know, and you see what happened, and you still come out and tell the people, say, a child was shot and killed, and you did dip on the scene, and see what happened, and see all who get shot, and who for body pick up. Error number three, spitefully, it was deliberately done. More details to come, information is not in abundance at the moment, so I'll keep you abreast. People, them are mad. And another alert has been activated for 13-year-old Nickel Harrison of King Street in Montego Bay, St. James, who has been missing since Monday, July 25. Do you know where she is? Well, call the Montego Bay Police at 876-979-8452-3. Francel Lawrence, otherwise called Buju, or Six, who was named as Wanted and featured on the Jamaica Constabulary Force Wanted Wednesday's campaign, is now in police custody. He turned himself in yesterday afternoon. And if you have reached this far, please I'm asking you to like the video. All I need in return is just a like on my videos. And over to Cool Cool Mandeville we go. 27-year-old Jermaine Robinson of Old Greenville Main Road in Mandeville was fatally shot during a confrontation with the police in Mayday Marshall's Crescent, Mandeville on Monday, July 25. One Browning 9mm pistol with two rounds of ammunition were seized. Reports are that the lawman responded to a call about the kidnapping of a woman in a Toyota Mark X motor vehicle. When the police arrived on the scene, they were greeted with gunfire. And of course, the gunfire was returned and one of three men was fatally shot. His two accomplices escaped on foot. The woman who was being kidnapped was not harmed during the drama. Robinson was reporting on bail for robbery with aggravation and would have returned to court in September. The Inspectorate and Professional Standards Oversight Bureau, IPROB, and the Independent Commission of Enquiries, INDICOM, are investigating. So there you have it and always remember that if you're new to the channel and it is your first time over here, please I'm asking you to subscribe plus click the notification bell and while doing so select option all so that way there. So that way you'll be first in line to be notified about each and every activity on our channel on this channel. And also remember to give this video a like, like always for YouTube algorithm. Blessings and more beatitude. Thank you for watching. Stay safe.